Hi everyone, it is almost 8.30 on a Sunday night and I am off work tomorrow because of the snowy weather. So let's do some cascade editing, right? <laughs> let's get to it. So the example today is uh, we have a folder and we wanna change the index page on that folder. Uh, so I'm gonna show you how to do that and how to unpublish and republish everything so that there's no broken floating links anywhere. Uh, and so that everything looks uh, like it should on the live website. So let me share my screen. We're gonna go to Cascade. So I logged in using my NetID with my capital C and the folder that we're gonna be editing for is residence life and housing. So I'm gonna go down to that folder. Of course I went too far. <laughs> Um, and I believe that the folder we want to edit is this frequently asked questions. So it's this resources page that we want to make the new index and then we want to make frequently asked questions um, a page inside of that folder. So what that means to me is that frequently asked questions should be this index page so that when you click on that you should see you know, that accordion. Um, so the first step for me is going to be to unpublish this. You can unpublish as you go, but this is just to cover my basis and make sure that everything is unpublished before I move things around. Uh, what happens if you don't unpublish content and you just move things around is that someone could still stumble upon the URLs in search engines. So this URL of residence life and housing frequently asked questions index could still exist. Um, even if it might not exist in Cascade. Uh, so that's why it's important to unpublish. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Um, <clears throat> again, you can do this as you go along, but it's just a safety precaution that I like to take. And I'm gonna unpublish from production and staging. Um, if you do have any more questions as far as why it's important to unpublish content or how that works when you're deleting and moving things around, please send me a message and we can talk in more detail about it. Probably might make more sense when it's not Sunday at 8.30 at night. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to go ahead and unpublish that. You're going to get this unpublish uh, message below. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this greater than symbol to be inside of the folder and I'm going to start renaming. So all of this has been unpublished. This index page, I'm gonna rename by right-clicking and I'm gonna make this frequently asked questions. I'm gonna use the automatic workflow so that it renames, I believe. So what this means is that this folder is essentially without an index page. Um, I'm gonna go back to that folder now, just clicking on my content. So anyone that's on the website and try to click on this folder would just get an error message that they wouldn't be able to land anywhere. Um, so then what I'm gonna do is grab this resources page. Oh, I didn't have to actually click on it, but I'm gonna rename this to be the new index. Gonna continue to use the workflow. Normally when I work as an admin, I don't use workflows, but I wanna make sure that this is exactly how you all are seeing it um, to make sure that there isn't any issue. So we're gonna push this through workflow. And I'm gonna click on that index page again. So <clears throat> we have an index page, that's the old resources page, a frequently asked questions, which was the previous index and then family resources. The last step is to make sure that this frequently asked questions is this resources page. Again, we always wanna make sure that this URL and this folder matches, everything matches as far as names. So I'm gonna right click on the folder and click rename. And I'm gonna make this resources and I'm gonna choose production and staging. And again, this part is checked off, unpublished content. And this is making sure that it takes off this URL from anywhere so that people can't land on this content even though it's no longer in Cascade. So never uncheck to unpublish content. When in doubt, just unpublish um, resources. So I'm gonna rename. 
Now, if I were to go on the live website, everything would still look the same as I had. It'd just be a, a lot of 404 errors. So what I need to do now, normally if I just change things inside of this folder, I would need to only publish this folder. However, since I renamed this to be resources, I'm going to publish the entire residence life and housing folder. So I'm going to right click and click publish uh, in production and staging. So once it does that, I need to refresh as well so that you see that this actually says resources. Let's see that publish <laughs> message. I'm going to refresh regardless, just so that we see that folder with the right name. Oh, and I missed a step. I missed a step, everyone. So sorry. So I renamed the folder. This is actually a good thing. I renamed the folder as far as URL structure. It says resources, but I forgot to edit the display name. So I'm going <laughs> to click edit on the folder. And this is the part that I need to edit. So display names what shows, um, it, this is display names what appears in the left-hand navigation. Titles what appears at the top of the URL. So you have usually CSU Pueblo, you have um, CSU Pueblo um, page name or folder name and then page name. Um, So let me get out of Cascade to try and show you this. For example, I guess it's the catalog. Let me just go to a random page. This should have CSU Pueblo art, CSU Pueblo. Uh, with the way that we renamed the folder, you'll see resources as the folder name at the top as well. <laughs> More information than you probably wanted to know. So I'm going to go ahead and publish, republish this residence life and housing folder again. And the reason I'm doing that uh, once more is so that that updated folder name appears in all of the left hand navigation. Otherwise, you might just see it when you go to this URL, but you might not see it everywhere else on the residence life and housing site. Um, so we, it's, we got that published notification. One little thing that I like to do just to make sure everything looks correctly, I click on more. And then I go to live at the bottom here. Fun fact that I didn't realize this was a feature until we went remote <laughs> in COVID. I didn't know you could just click live and open the page on a, the live page on a new tab. But now I see that I have resources. Um, the resources is the index page. Um, if I click everywhere else, I can still find, um, there's no 404 errors. I still find the pages just fine. And if I go anywhere else on the residence life and housing website, Mm, maybe our published didn't go through. Still says frequently asked questions. Why? Might not have published already. Mm, let's see if it published. But essentially we did that last publish to make sure this didn't happen. No, nope, looks like it didn't go through. So the error that I'm seeing is that this still says frequently asked questions versus resources. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure everything looks okay inside of Cascade. I'm going to click on somewhere else inside of Cascade to make sure it says resources and not frequently asked questions. Yeah, it does say resources. So this should too. <laughs> but we're just going to republish one more time and see if that's the fix. Um, sorry, this is a longer video, but I'm glad we're running through issues because everyone knows it looks perfect on a video, but it might not be perfect <laughs> when you're actually implementing this yourselves without any support. So let's make sure that this did go through. <laughs> I'm waiting for that little notification that says publish. Your folder has been published. Mm -hmm. As we pause quietly.
So I don't know if you guys all have this publish queue feature, but this tells me how far something is from being published. So we'll just give it a little longer, but this essentially what I'm looking for is that once that pub, uh, folder does get published, the entire residence life and housing, anywhere that I go on this residence li life and housing folder, it does say resources. It was just lagging a little. Why? So in all of them, it says, see, this is interesting. In all of the different folders, this says resources, but in current students, it tells me frequently asked questions. So let's actually make sure that, I'm gonna pause this. Let's make sure that everything with that current students folder is set up correctly. So this is what I would do if you guys were all to send me an email saying, hey, this doesn't look right on the website. I'm going to make sure that all of that can get published correctly. Let's look at this index. This index tells me resources too. So maybe it's just, just this folder that I need to publish current students, instead of publishing the entire residence life and housing folder, since it's only current students that's giving me that issue, let's see if that solves it. And it gives us a little bit less of a publish amount, since it's only the select pages versus everything in under here, everything under image. So again, sorry, this is turning into a longer video, but I'm glad that you guys are seeing some of the troubleshooting things that we do. Very basic stuff. Um, <laughs> So yeah, now we have current students and we see resources here. So um, when in doubt, I guess just try and just test around, I guess the different folders inside of that root folder that you're editing to make sure everything looks correctly and try and find maybe the single source where something might not have published correctly. Um, but we're always here for you guys as a resource. So feel free to send any questions to myself or Jennifer through the web dev account. Um, because there are the little quirks inside of Cascade uh, that we're happy to work with you guys through just since we see them all the time. And for myself, having worked in this position two years, you see that I'm still experiencing them. So don't be shy to ask. Um, okay, I will leave you all. Uh, thank you for your time and we will talk soon. Bye.